"'Twas the night before winter, at the White House, 2015. "'Twas the night before winter, when all through the White House "'not a drone was stirring, not even a mouse. "'The stockings were hung on the golf cart with care, "'in hopes that the brothers soon would be there. "'The folks were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of vacations danced in their heads. And Mama in her Gucci, and I in my cap, had just mellowed our brains after an evening of rap. When out in the rose garden there arose such a clatter, I turned on TV to see what was the matter. On my way to the window, I reached for my stash, tore open the shutters, and toked some good hash. The crescent moon glowed on a new line of snow, and its star shined a luster on ice, crystal, and blow. When what to my glazed-over eyes should appear but a miniature drone and eight camel-like deer? With a camel driver who looked like bin Laden, I knew in a moment it was Mullah Nasruddin. More rabid than vultures, his curses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Abdul, now Mecca, now Morsi and Mosul, on Basra, on Raqqa, on Kabul and Isil. To the top of the tower, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry sands that before a desert storm fly, when they meet with a red line, retreat on the sly. Up toward the turret, the camels they flew, with the drone full of guns, and Nasruddin too. From the minaret, the prettiest sound that I know, the call to prayer, wrapped out by eight camels with soul. As I drew in a hit and was spinning around, down the chimney Nasruddin came with a bound. He was dressed in camo from his turban to foot, and his vest was all tarnished with black powder and soot. A bundle of guns he had flung on his back, and he looked like a bomber opening his pack. His eyes, how they squinted, his dimples, how hairy. His cheeks were like sand dunes, his glare, it was wary. His crass little sneer was drawn tight like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as black as a crow. The pin of a grenade he held tight in his teeth, and gunpowder encircled his head like a wreath. He held a frayed fuse to trigger his belly. Then, it shook when he laughed, could ignite the blast jelly. He wore an orange vest, a jihadi himself. I high-fived when I saw him. He looked like myself. A glint from his sword and a twist of his head to the east led me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and armed all the stockings, and turned with a jerk. And laying his AK aside of his nose, and loading full rounds, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his drone, to his herd gave a whistle, and away they all flew, like the flight of a missile. But I heard him exclaim, ere he flew out of sight, Merry winter to all, and to all a good fight. The End Poem and Art by Dan Yura at utunes.com Learn more about Mula Nasruddin the satirical Sufi wise man, known for his humorous stories, 
filled with philosophical teachings of a pedagogic nature. Visit utunes.com. Reproduction of Twas the Night Before Solstice, permitted under common use copyright, online and in print, for non commercial use and reviews only. For commercial reprint license, contact Eura Media. Dan at Eura.com. View licensing and syndication at utunes.com. Dan Yura is one of the world's top political cartoonists and caricature artists. He follows in the editorial tradition of Bill Malden and Jules Pfeiffer. View his art at utunes.com. Too many of today's artists regard editorial cartooning as a trade instead of a profession. They try not to be too offensive. The hell with that. We need more stirrer uppers. Quote Bill Malden. Outside of basic intelligence, there is nothing more important to a good political cartoonist than ill will. Quote from Jules Pfeiffer.